Kinetica is the next-generation IoT database vectorized for real-time analysis, best-in-class location analytics, and reducing computing costs, now easily accessible as a service in the public cloud. Here's how it works. On the Azure Marketplace, search up Kinetica. You can choose your plan and pricing options and then click Create. You can then confirm your choices here. So this is the Cloud Workbench. Here on the left-hand side, you can see the Data Explorer, which shows you your tables and views, data sources, and when you create them, graphs. First, let's take a look at tables and views. In tables and views, you have various schemas just like any other database. Here we have KI Home Schema. And under this, we have some windmill tables, which we'll use in our demo scenario. There's also Weather View, which shows us weather data from the National Weather Service. We've also created data sources here, such as real-time weather conditions streamed through a Kafka queue. Now let's look at workbooks. The first one is the Quick Start Guide, which is our standard workbook populated with demo data. We're going to focus on the Windmill Optimization Workbook. In this scenario, we are getting weather data streaming live in real time via Kafka and historical sensor data from the windmill. We're going to combine these two to predict the windmill's power production based on the live weather conditions. So first, we're going to create the data source, which is where we are going to get the data from. Now we're back in our worksheet, and what we're going to do first is create our data source. The data source simply says, go to this blob container with this container name and these credentials. Now that we've done that, let's look at the next tab. You see we're using SQL to load data into the windmill table using the file path, which is shown here. Here's the header data, and these are the columns. The header data is loaded first, and you can see that it's loading data from the data source we created earlier. Let's go ahead and load the data. If we go to the NRL win table and click on info, you can see it's loaded the columns from the header file. You can see there are lots of independent variables here, covering wind speed, temperature, humidity, and many other variables at different heights on the windmill. The power law coefficient, which is the indicator of the coefficient of power that the windmill is able to generate, is a dependent variable, and we're going to use this to make some predictions. Let's load the rest of the data files, which is done very quickly. Here's all the other data that we saw earlier, converting all the different variables. Let's look at the power law coefficient in more detail. You can see it here. The mean power law coefficient will vary according to the wind speed, direction, and temperature. And using the Kinetica database, we can analyze all these variables across not just hours or days, but years, and then make accurate predictions. In order to do this in this demo, we need to know weather data, and we're getting this information from the National Weather Service API. Streaming data from the National Weather Service is coming in via a Kafka event queue, one record per city every minute for 25 cities. First, we create the credential needed to connect to the Kafka queue, and then a data source for the topic Weather Data 2. Now the data will stream into the streaming underscore weather table continuously. And in the table, you can see there's information about base, clouds, coordinates, wind speed, temperature, time zone, and visibility. Next, let's create stream underscore weather view, which does a transformation on the data that we received from the weather service as JSON subfields. We're going to extract longitude, latitude, temperature, and wind speed so that we can use them directly for geoanalytics and predictions of windmill power at a location. Now what we're going to do is take the coordinates columns, both longitude and latitude, and use them for visualizations. Let's click here to select everything from weather view. And you can see that instead of the text columns, we've now got longitude and latitude, which means we can visualize the data on a map. If we click configure, we can see the table name and the configuration knows which fields are longitude and latitude, so we can render it. Here, we can see all the cities we are getting weather data from. So going back to the research lab, where we had all those independent variables, we're going to execute a function called prediction and we're going to use the mean power coefficient for the wind speed and temperature at 80 meters to predict the power coefficient based on different weather conditions. So how do we do this? In statistics and machine learning, one method is linear regression. What we are doing here is a multivariate linear regression, 
using wind speed and temperature to predict the power coefficient for another value of wind speed and temperature. So we've created a function called prediction using SQL, and we're saying the source of the file is this Python file. Here we are saying, create a SQL function based on Python code using this file path. Now this file is held locally, so how did we get it on the cloud instance? If we go here to files, you can see that there are folders, and we can upload new files here. You can see that this file is already uploaded. So now we've got this function, we just need to go here and say execute the function prediction, where we have the input as the 80 meter speed and temperature and the associated power coefficient. Then from the streaming weather data, we select the speed and temperature as the new set of independent variables for which we want to predict the associated power coefficient. Finally, we're going to create an output table called MultiPredict. So, we created a data source, we loaded the data, and we were able to predict power production based on weather conditions. And that's how easy it is to make predictions using the Kinetica Next Generation IoT database on an as-a-service offering on Microsoft Azure. For more information, visit Kinetica.com.